Hi, my friend. <laughs> I'm Pat Sloan. How are you today? So we have a few things here today. One of them I'm thrilled about, which is the tidy up assignment for our calendar today. Because I woke up this morning and I came down to my space here and I thought, all right, I need to do it today. I need to do it because my rolling carts have just been a dump zone. I've got stuff all along the back these little piles that need addressed, et cetera, et cetera. But first, a few other things that we have going on. The Boo Crew announcement, yes! So this is Mystery Sew Along with the Fat Quarter Shop, and it's a mystery uh, cross stitch along. So let me just be sure I got the details right. So the quilt is 33 by 35, which is super cool size. I like that size because it's doable uh, and it's nice for either a table topper or a wall hanging. The cross stitch will be about 14 by five if you're using 14 count. And so I've got um, down in the description box here some of the other details of that. You can pre-order a kit, which uh, here is a sneak peek of one of the blocks uh, that'll be in the in the quilt, and then a sneak peek of the cross stitch. And the cross stitch stuff is all there now. You can get the supply list and order the threads, order whatever cloth you want. Uh, the um, other stuff the, for the quilting, it'll be a little bit yet. So it's not, that's not quite being released. Um, we're waiting on fabric. So, you know, that's, that's the way it is. <laughs> Always waiting on fabric right now. So once the fabric is kind of in so that they can uh, release the supply list, that'll come out and then I'll show you what fabric I'm using, which is also not in yet. <laughs> okay, what else? Before we do tidy up, uh, I decided to get out the next set of blocks for the um, words to live by. Uh, let me just show you. This is a kit that I bought oh several months ago now, end of last year, I guess, about six months ago. And I just decided to just start cutting the blocks. And then I was doing a lot of other things and didn't cut anymore. And I realized, you know, I need to do that. So now I have all four corners done. I do love how you can fussy cut this particular print Look at that, same print with the green background, but they look really different in the two blocks, right? So I also, there's enough different pieces on the panel. A few of them I changed out from what's on the, on the original quilt because you have a few other options. So I used a few different ones. Like I didn't use the bird here. I didn't use that bird. I used the saying that says, be yourself. Uh, that's one of the changes. And next I'm going to do the sun. So I'm going to do the sun and then this block. After that, I will do this one because I'm going to switch up the background fabric from the green or greeny yellow to the uh, one of the cream fabrics. One of our friends suggested that, that she said she did it with her kit and it worked. Now there is a fat quarter bundle of this fabric which has the panel still. So if you really love this and you want to get the fat quarter bundle and then you can get the pattern, which is also at the link below, and uh, add to it for whatever you need for the, the kit because you need more than a fat quarter bundle to do the quilt. But you could, but the fat quarter bundle does have the panel. So I just love this panel. I love the words to live by. So that's good. I got that. Oh, and I also did this from the cutoffs of the one block. I made another little tiny block. That's fun. I'm just putting those into my bin of blocks, which will one day I will go in there and and start some quilts because those bags are getting pretty full. All right, do I have anything else before? Oh yes, two other things. So I wanna show you this fun picture. Greg and I went to a small derby party with my family. So here is a picture of me dressed up in my <laughs> fancy hat for the derby party. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you do that, but we had a lot of fun. And uh, then also when I was talking about uh, quilts that we own, you know, that have animals on them. I totally forgot about my elephant quilt. How could I forget about my elephant quilt? Because it's above my bed in my bedroom. So here's a picture of my elephant quilt. Again, I know several of you reminded me, you have your elephant quilt. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. We are going to tidy up. We, the royal we. So first thing I, I did, I started this the other day. I got out one of my bins because the jelly sizzle we are sort of done with and um, 
you know, I had to get it quilted, but I need to empty the bin so I can put some other things in and some other projects. And this is what I discovered. So I was getting ready to empty this bin and it had the stuff from the jelly sizzle from the coffee version. And I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought to myself that the cutaways from that, I had made a table runner. I was sure I had made a table runner. I could find no photo of it and I couldn't find it. So I opened this box. I'm sure I looked in this box because this is where all the fabric is from that gel, jelly sizzle coffee one. So I just opened the box in order to take what's in here out and guess what was in there? Like right on the top is the table runner I did with the jelly sizzle cutaways. Like why could I not find this? the day I was looking. I just, and I have no photo of it. I've never taken a photo. So here it is. <laughs> this is something you can do with your jelly sizzle cutaways. Ah, so nuts. And here was, I just, you know, I put squares. Anyways, I just, insane, insane. Now I do think I'm going to put a little border on there and make a, make a table runner. But really, I cannot believe that I couldn't see that. Oh, really makes me insane. The other thing is I have a lot of the, that jelly roll that's left, not a lot, but I have this part of the jelly roll that's left. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my strip box, which is very full. I need to do some stuff with strips before I'm and not, because I can't save anymore. I'm just going to save one shoe box full. That's it. And then start using it. And I have darks. I have one of lights, one of darks. So these are going in the darks, which I don't even know if I can shove it in there, but I'm going to try. <laughs> and then I have some extra fabrics that I'm going to, to do stuff with. Um, one is a great big piece of the coffee fabric because I love it so much. So I, you know, this I'm saving. I'll hoard it. <laughs> Let's hoard it. And then uh, some other little extra pieces. Maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll make a pillow with the light one. That would be, that would be really cute. So there you go. And then this can be empty for another future project coming up that I can put in there. Isn't that nuts? I cannot believe. And I do have another bin up there called Jelly Rolls. Um, I don't know. Did I look in that one instead? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure all of us have done this. You've looked and looked and looked. You come in and out and then finally it's sitting right there like in plain view. Like that's pretty much what this felt like. Okay, I'm going to switch over to camera B and just look at what's in these bins a little bit and sort of think about how I'm going to handle it. So let's go. <laughs> On the way to look at the bin, <laughs> I just want to show you the blocks. I just love them so much. I love that panel. Look, a happy heart makes a happy home. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so I have here... This is the border for Sweet Dreams, which really needs to be done today because tomorrow's Sweet Dreams Day. We will see. Let's do the top of the counter. I've got five stacks going on, four stacks going on. This is more Sweet Dreams. So I need to go through here and decide what I'm keeping, what I'm going to donate. Now that the quilt is almost done. This is quilts for Ukraine. I know we're going to make a pillowcase and then there's some other fabrics that either need put in the bins or donated and I need to cut the backing. This is the pile. Well, this is random other stuff. <clears throat> this is the pile from um, the Jelly Sizzle coffee. So this needs to be figured out. Do I do anything with this table topper right now or just donate it as is? <clears throat> put the fabric somewhere, whatever. I got to figure out something. Ah, here's this kitty fabric I showed you the other day. A few people wanted to know where to get that, what its name was. So I linked you below. It also comes with a black background and orange kitties and a tan background with white kitties, which is really nice. And then well, while we're here, uh, here's another thing I've got stacked. This is a new pattern by Verna from the Vintage Spool. Uh, it's amazing. I'm going to show you a little bit more about this, but it's called Haunted Hexy. She's been uh, showing the blocks as she was making them uh, on her on her Instagram, and I loved it. And this is the same uh, designer that did the big be applique beach quilt that I sent off to be quilted. So this is a much smaller project, the Hexies, and a much more and very detailed on a lot of them. So I think it's super cool. Okay, and then I've got this panel down here that I'm going to do a baby quilt out of. 
This is the one that has the giraffe in the middle. This big giraffe in the middle. Do you know that one? Hold on. There it is. Called First Kiss. It's a baby quilt um, panel. So I just need to put a little cute border on it and quilt it up. So that is a project. Now this one I had to find on an Etsy seller. It's been out a long time. And so uh, if you want First Kiss, just go on Etsy and look for it. Okay, so what do we got going on over here? The top here, I was pretty good. I've been pretty good. This is Midnight Moon, and I just need to cut up the next two for the next week. I've already got the bat for this week done, and I did finish all of the prior weeks, so I'm good there. These are some extras. I don't know why they're in here. I have to figure that out. Now, down, be he down here, I, I want to just take all this out. Some of this, you know, I've shown you the cute cat book. Um, yeah, I just need to unload this. Same here. Some new stuff. And, oh, there's my ladybird. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. And there's the piggy fabric. Okay. Now, I do have... Uh, this shelf is pretty much... This is the stuff I do for my exercise for my wrists every day. So they have to stay up here. Not sure I'm going to deal with this shelf. But there are things like this. Like I have this and these containers that really I'm not using on a daily basis at all, so they should be moved. They don't need to be here if I'm not using them on a daily basis. Uh, they need to go somewhere else, so I think I'm going to do that today. And then over on the last one, cross stitch in the top. Uh, this is where I'm using all the time, so uh, if I move it, it's, I'm just not going to cross stitch as much, so this will stay up here. But below I've got stacked bins because I had taken the one out of the other case and so this actually needs to I need to figure out what's going on here and same with the bottom stuff that's just I need to figure it out I need to undo what all is in there and review it so that is what I'm going to address I also have the shelves over here that I really probably need to go through those so I don't know if that's today's agenda I think today it might just be the rolling carts which some of that will probably want to go over there which means I'll have to address that at some point but first let me just show you first what what I have in two of the two of these baskets because this is basically what I'm going to do well those ones are mostly cross stitch so, but this is what I would basically do, whether it's cross stitch or fabric, I'll get it in the other ones. So those piles all along the counter. I mean, basically I'm going to break them down and put things back where they need to be. So in here, I have, I don't hear. So this was a project from the Sew Sampler box. And I really like this. I think it, I even went and got some of the border fabric because I really like that. And I thought, you know what? I. If I want to do this, if I, you know, I just think it's really pretty. I would use, see, they use the gray border. I would use the red border because the size of it, uh, whatever it is, it would just seem like it would be a good wall size. So it's in there for me to either make my own little kit and like start cutting those up to sew as I do other things, um, which I have several of those now, so maybe not. And then go through it, like I have cross stitch stuff. So these need to go over in the bins. So I have, you know, these bins here, you know, that have all of the threads. And so these threads, I have to check because they may be laying here because they go with this pattern. If that's the case, then this, they need to go in the pattern. So that's what, and then maybe into one of those bags. But if they're random threads, they'll go in there. And then I have one of the cute needle minders. <gasps> Look at the kitty needle minder. Oh, so cute, white kitty. Okay, that that is a fabric kit and some cross stitch. And I got some new, um, new back, you know, background fabrics for cross stitch. And oh, what is all in here? So here we we talked about this when it was Unicorn Day. So these need to be put away. They need. Why are they in here? Why? 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 And then here's other lots of other cross stitch stuff. So uh, some of this I've shown you. Some of this I've not. Uh, here's some cute little notepads with little bees on them. So why? You know, this all needs to be figured out. These are a bunch of cross stitch patterns, and. Okay, so that's some supplies here in the top. Okay, so all of that has to be figured out. 
Ah. You know, one of the things for me is I have realized is I do not have yet a place for the larger cross stitch. Like if I have like a cross stitch book like this or one of the patterns, let me just grab one, like one of the patterns that comes in these bigger pattern packs, you know, I have just been storing the smaller ones. And so this means like there's a lot of these bigger size in here. Like here's one farm life. <laughs> They're from the fat quarter shop. So I need to uh, get uh, get like a book holder, you know, something that these can be put in and so I can find them again when I need them. All right. So today, <clears throat> my friend, <laughs> it is tidy up day. So if you are like me and you woke up this morning and you're like, okay, I need to do some tidying up. You, you will be right. I will be here walking right beside you to do that. Uh, I have to do, I have an appointment today. After that, it will be tidy up time. So I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.